Uh, Giselle, I'd love to go to Brazil with you. Yeah, we can be. Wake up. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Tom. Good morning, Jameson. Good morning, asparagus. Hey, Rocco. Missed you this morning. Yeah, I'm a little late today, bud. You really have no qualms about walking around the neighborhood like this? Listen, don't use words you can't spell, all right? It's a big word for you. What happened to your shirt, you fucking mess? Yeah, I, uh, if you need to know, it's charcoal. Next time you're at CVS and you're shopping in the bargain aisle, you got a lot of good stuff there for your face and your teeth, man. Get something. How about some vitamin D? I got some vitamin D for you, as in uh, vitamin dick. You always gotta take it vulgar. This doesn't make you uncomfortable, does it? You look like a veil parmesan fucked a henna tattoo. Thank you, that's just a compliment, I'll take it. You look like Christopher Nolan's last choice on Memento, I mean, before he had a budget. Yeah, if I had a real publicist, maybe he could have gotten me a reading for that. <laughs> All right, I'm late. You should take the Trans Am. Get that fucking car out of my driveway. I got a potential buyer on Craigslist. All right, man, well, good luck. Put some pants on, will you please? Pants are for children. Yeah, pants are for children. That sounds really weird. Ashley! I'm coming! No, no, I'm not coming. I, I'm on my way! I'm not coming! I'm not coming! Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, so close, and yet so far. Oh, I need to wear different shoes. Yes, Mr. Winters. Ashley, do you want me to go back to the streets of Earl's Court giving out hand jobs to pay rent money? Oh, God, no. Then how am I supposed to win a bloody Emmy if I can't print off my scripts? Oh, is it not working? No, oh. it's frozen. Probably infected with a host of viruses from you and your fellow rug muncher surfing all of your lady-on-lady -lady marriage websites. <laughs> well, actually, I think we may have found our ideal location, so we are gonna go up north to San Fran this weekend to scout it out. How very Ellen and Rosie of you. But I need my laptop working before I leave for set tomorrow morning. Yes, of course, Mr. Winders. 
And please, love, call me Reuben. Okay, Reuben. God, I love Rubens. <laughs> Such a shame she's a lesbian. <laughs> well, if it isn't my favorite fire bush. Well, that is very Harvey Weinstein of you. Was it too Jewish? You are lucky I'm calling you for a favor. Oh, what can I do to you? Ew. Ruben's computer had a massive virus, so I dropped off at this place on Ventura to get fixed. I will text you all the info. It has a massive virus because of a miniature dick looking at freaky English broads giving toothy hummers. Yep, probably true. However, not the point. The point is that Tiffany and me think we found our ideal wedding venue up north, so we are gonna head up to San Fran. No, you can't call it that. Call it what? San Fran, the locals hate that. They want you to use the whole thing. Okay, what about? No, you can't call it Frisco either. The lipstick lesbos and Castro would crucify you. That's like calling Boston Bean Town. Duly noted. So, are you gonna pick up Ruben's computer and bring it to his place by the morning or not? Wait, that's the favor, picking up Ruben's computer? That's something I can do for you. And to get to spend a little time with your favorite client. Let me know if you want me to jump out of your dildo-shaped wedding cake, too. Hmm, that is a visual. All right, turkey tits, you got it, baby. Goodbye. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, why do you think you have the skill set for this job? I'm ambidextrous. Oh, okay, so you like, like frogs. <laughs> I like to hold it. <laughs> I like to hold it. You're going to do a lot of holding. <laughs> I hold it? If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? <laughs> no, put that away. Mm -mm, no more time. Then I have this, which I wiggle when I see a man. So, what are your strengths? I, I can open a can of beans with uh, my right hand or my left. Are you related to Gene Simmons of Kiss? Bubbles. <laughs> I blew bubbles. Bubbles? They <laughs> <I> like it. <laughs> yeah, I blew bubbles. Like Michael Jackson bubbles? My specialty was balloon twisting. So, uh, I know how to use these. Mm. That explains a lot. Mm. Oh, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes to continue this. Don't steal nothing. Kurt, Kurt, you need to see this. I'm working, Bert. Kurt? What do you want? Look. But still no. He's gonna love it. I mean, it's, it's been like four years since you guys have been with each other, right? No, not him. No, I mean, show it at your interview today. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I thought that you were gonna show it to him, yeah, no. Do not show it to him. Okay. Okay. I want you to show it to the publicity firm today. Wait, what? Today, your interview. No. You don't, you don't like this song? No, 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 I love this song. I just, I mean, I, I just wrote it. Wow, that, that's great, that's, that's really impressive, honestly, but I, I, 
it's my first interview, you know, and it's really important to me. Well, this is how you're gonna get the job. This is what I'm saying. It's a hit, um, show it to them. You have talent right at your fingertips. Why would you ignore this opportunity? Present it to them. In a couple months. Definitely say something. You'll play the song. I'll, I don't today. know if I'll play You'll the song. You'll sing it. You can sing it. I, I, so that's not okay. the problem. So you'll show it to him today. Not. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, but I'm I'm late, so. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Because it's four in the morning and I googled your name to see if you're still alive. Cause I'll see you later tonight. Nothing can explain why you're ghosting. Mr. Monarch, seven alpha, take one. Common sight, Mark. I have had a dream last night that vexes me, and I want to know what it means. Tell your servant your dream, dear king, and we will interpret it for you. If you can't interpret it, I will cut off your naughty bits and feed them to the crows. <laughs> if you can interpret it, you will receive great honour from me and a bunch of thirsty whores. <laughs> What's a whore? Sadly, no one can reveal the king's dream except for the gods, and they do not live amongst us. Well, indulge me and give it your best guess. Your Honor, would you like us to guess what you dreamt about last night? Did the king stutter, you tiny penis peasant? Of course not. Well, get on with it. You dreamed about a juicy rack of lamb and big bosoms. Oof, well done. You've got it. Get yourself ready for a horse sandwich, you little shit, you. <laughs> yeah, cut. All right, everybody take five for All three. Right. Willie the shot. fucking shake eat your heart out. Any time today. It's good to see you at it again, though, man. Yeah. What was the inspiration for this new venture? Oh, so I was on the shitter. I was thinking of the biggest industries and the biggest problems in the world. Then it hit me. Just like that? Oh, man, like a ton of bricks. Or in this particular case, a ton of dicks. That's always the best foundation to build a dream on, isn't it? Yo, as you know, I've dipped my wick in many startups over the years. Yes, I'm witness to that. But I can't remember ever being as excited as I am about this one. Homeless hand jobs? Homeless hand jobs. A company of the future that combats one of the world's biggest social issues while also filling one of the world's biggest sensual desires. You've obviously thought about that, and I'm a big fan of beef stroganoff, so. Want to go in? Let's do it, man. Just don't try to jerk me off. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my new business venture. <laughs> wow, there's some square footage in here, man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna give you the uh, red carpet treatment. Ooh, I'm fancy. Right this way, sir. Thank you, my good man. Mm -hmm. hey, How are you? What's up, Bertha? Oh, VIP room. Mm -hmm. VIP room, all right. Uh, yeah. Looks what? like something out of Fifty Shades of Grey, but it's uh, all good. Yeah, right up your alley, right? <laughs> hey, Louise. She holds it. She likes bubbles. So what do you think? This is for real, dude? Does it look like the fantasy? These chicks are like sexual beings. They look like something off of like Psycho. All right, how does it work? There's no real mystery to it. Homeless people, in exchange for a room and board, give hand jobs to paying customers. They live here too? <laughs> yeah, but a shitload of bunk bits my Kia. They got a nice setup up there. All right, all right. Damn, man, you're going mm. for it, huh? Yeah, man, Shit. living the dream. I guess so, I guess so, man. I'm... I'm utterly impressed. I don't know what the insurance or the permits are. How are you promoting this? What do you mean, man? Word of mouth. Good right. business. From being blatant and really transparent, man, I mean, Coachella with cock, dude. Woodstock with real woodies. I see the social media being aggressive. I love the back alley, like New York shit you got right, going right, on right. here. Dudes come in, get jerked off, you get paid. That's genius, man. Right. You know? Well, that's why you hire me. Exactly. I'm an idea man. That's why. Mm -hmm. You, you got snacks, you Sna get treats. Another satisfied customer. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, what's up, man? You ready? First ones on the house. You know what, dude? Oh, hold on a minute. 
Oh, I gotta take this. First one's on the house, man. Congrats on this, I think. I don't Thanks. know. Thanks. Louise, show me bubbles. What do you need, Lindsay? What you doing? I'm actually just leaving some, uh, let's call it a manicure place, I guess. <laughs> you mean a salon? Salon, whatever, I mean, I don't know. The point is, they're very handy at the spot. Well, let me know if it's any good. As you know, I'm always looking to get my mani on. All right, I will, but I can assure you about this spot. They definitely have a soft touch. <laughs> What's your plan the rest of the day? Well, right now, I'm racing back to uh, the office so I can... You mean the house? Yes, I mean the house. I mean the house that I have a home office in that is my place now. I don't know why you're so all up in arms about it. Well, why don't you just say that then? What do you need, Lindsay? I'm trying to find out when you'll be home so I can drop by and give you your stupid alimony money. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to inconvenience you. I'm sorry that it's so stupid. I guess it was a lot easier to have an ass play with an old creepy millionaire. I need a time frame. Oh, you need a time frame? Yeah. I need a lap dance from Mel Gibson. Uh, I'll give you the time frame. The time frame is this. I'm having a potential interview with a potential intern. You're getting an intern? Isn't that like installing an ashtray on a motorbike? You know what, Lindsay? I'm not saying I hate you, but I would unplug your life support to charge my iPhone X. <laughs> That's not very nice, Mitch. You know what's not nice is sleeping with a fossil dick fucking curmudgeon just because you can go to a... Nicole Kidman premiere on the French Riviera. Uh, you used to love cans. It's pronounced can, by the way. The S is silent. And I used to love Nickelback's How You Remind Me. Mm, that's an amazing song. Well said right there. That pretty much sums it up. I'll see you when you get here, all right? All righty. Talk to you later. All right. Peace the tips. Bye. <laughs> Uh, so first off, I want to just welcome you to um, Wicked Pissa headquarters. This is, you know, where uh, great ideas become reality. Wicked Pissa? Wicked Pissa. You piss here? I have. Not in the pool, though. Yeah. That's the first thing I want you to know if you become the intern. Yeah. Don't piss in the pool. I've never had an intern before. I don't even really know the process, so I'm excited to, uh, I don't know, meet you, I guess. Um, I've never been in an intern before, so. We're, we're intern virgins. virgins. Virgins, yeah, yeah. But just for the record, you know I'm not one, so. I mean, you, I you know, you are? Yeah. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. No judging, no judging there. Actually, I think that's great. You're pure, you're untainted. <laughs> so Where's your office? You're sitting in it. This is the cubicle. This is where uh, no whiteout, no paper clips. The amenities of this spot that you can expect being a participant in my company here, I'm gonna say they're endless, right? Okay. Now, I'll take a little gander over there at that little, looks just like a brick wall, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not. One switch of that little plug over there, I'll have this shit looking like Vegas. Wow. You'll be like, where's, where's the tiger? Where's, where's the two gay guys that are gonna like get the tiger and get eaten by the tiger? That's how crazy, you'll think you're in Vegas. Person. I'll have you know I've drunk two litres of absinthe and got on stage at the Globe and delivered Hamlet. How'd that go? Standing bloody ovation. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what came upon me. I, I was... If you ever do that again, I will Chinese burn you within an inch of your fucking life. Understood? Loud and clear. Good. All right, let's get the hard question out of the way. Who's your favourite Disney princess? <laughs> Um, definitely Belle. Belle, why? I'm, she's like, she's, well, I mean. I mean, why not? Yeah, right, why not? Yeah. You like Belle too? Oh, she's gorgeous. Those yeah. eyes, I could get lost. And, and the hair, you know, she yellow. She does have nice hair. Yellow's a good color. She's, oh, you like that dress like when dress. she's out with the beast? I like the dress. Yeah, and okay. she, doesn't, she doesn't like mean guys, you know. 
She likes beasts. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I fantasize about being the beast, and I'll just be sitting there and I'm frolicking, and I'm I'm with her <laughs> books, and they're all dirty and dusty, and I'm I'm reading her like an old classic, like Dickens. Yeah. And I'm like, Belle, I want much more than this provincial life. Mm. The baguettes, hurry up. Yep, get them. That's pretty good. Who's but your favorite? Who's my favorite? Yeah. Is the interviewee turning the table on the interviewer? I mean, honestly, mine's Esmeralda. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Esmeralda, did you have you seen the movie? Uh, yeah. Well, do you know who does the voice? No. Demi Moore. Uh... So every time I watch it, all I think of is that part in Striptease where she comes out and she's like, ah. She's like, look at these things. You could crack a lobster off of them. Look at these new ones. Yeah, no. No. That, that's you just didn't see it then. Reminding me of. Burt Reynolds lathering up the hunchback's deformed back with stripper sauce. You know, you see some of those princesses, you like feel a little weird that I want to take Ariel's, you know, mermaid bra off, but Jasmine's hot too. She's ethnic. I love Milan. I mean, I don't want to say I coined the phrase animation masturbation, but maybe I did. I think that all the princesses are like 14 in the movies. Can you just forget I said all this then? No, let's just forget it. Let's talk about it like other, something else. Um. He's been getting on my ass to move this car, and I was going to do it today, but this, my handstand messed me up, so appreciate it. It is a true friend who will come over and wash your car for you when he has polyester pants on, and it's only like 100 degrees out. Yeah, you're welcome. By the way, your mama wears polyester pants when I'm banging her. Oh, I know she does. She likes to bake muffins down there. <laughs> I guess, hey, Mitchy baby. What is going on out here? Hey, what are you doing, Rocco? I told you to get your car out of my driveway when you throw a party out here. I'm working, man. Who's this? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Lugo. Ah, nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Look. Ow! What time is it? It's about 3. 3 o'clock? Shit. I'm fucking late. God damn it. That guy's a cop? <laughs> yeah. Made me fucking late again. Every fucking time it's you. Lugo! That's my fucking gun. I'm sorry, man. It's all good. It's right here. Coming. Yeah, man. Later, bro. When I get back, you better be have this shit done. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Sometimes he gets bad. Not all the time. Time for that guy's a real cop? Yeah. And he, that was a real gun. It was a real gun. And you think that's coach should I have right. on my property? I'm on my way. Yeah. You want me to bring some, I don't know, some terrorists to your place when you're doing your little Tai Chi out there? Bitch, he's a cop. He has to carry a gun. That don't make the laws. You want to change the laws? Write your local congressman, man. I don't get involved in that politics shit, all right? I stay zen. Hey, go fuck yourself. Yeah, bye, Lugo. See you tomorrow. You want your car for me? No, I don't want to wash your car. That thing doesn't need to be. You should just junk that thing, man. All right. Will you lock it? I'm going to go. All right, I will. Yeah. I can leave it for like a week? Beat it. Two weeks? One day. A month. Awesome. You're the best. Never even got you Love laid you. once, I bet. If I was Love a guessing you. man, you never got laid once because of the car. You're right. Car don't make the man. Man make the car. And then inside, sometimes man makes a baby, which kind of is very ironic. Uh, so listen. I'm willing to give you a chance. Really? Yeah. I think you will fit in at this firm. And when I say firm, I mean my backyard. Can I just say, I feel like I am a perfect fit for you in this office space. You know, I, I can clean the pool. I, just, I, I feel like me and you will, will be perfect together. And I also have a roommate who is a singer, songwriter too, so. You're gonna leave a changed woman, you know? And I don't mean surgically, I mean mentally. You're gonna love the way you look, I guarantee it. I mean, you're gonna just do it. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna have it your way. You're gonna be walking around and you're gonna look like a young Cher without, without, you know, the weight of Sunny. Okay. There's a chance you could be in masks too with a real deformed looking guy and maybe mermaids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Good things come to those who initiate, not wait. And good things come to those who, I almost said masturbate. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's okay. You're not one of these types, though, too. I know the whole thing. Hashtag me too. Hashtag you too. Hashtag fucking you too live with Zoo TV and they're playing songs. You don't get offended if I say something a little off the cuff, right? Because in this industry, it's not your typical industry. I mean, you know, Cosby, Javi, 
Fucking every other thing with a Y nowadays is out there doing weird shit to weird women, and it's causing a, a riptide. And you know, I definitely am a. I represent a lot of women. I, I have. A, I came from a woman. I've came on a woman. I've. You know, it's. It's. I understand all that. All right. Be here Monday early. Okay. And uh, see what sort of crazy stuff we can come up with. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you so see much. See you then. I'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, sorry, I called you baby too. It's okay, Daddy. It's a saying I mean, from. Okay. It's my Boston thing, though. It wasn't like a, you know, we call people sweetheart and honey. It's just something we do. Bye. Hi. Hi. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. I'll... Lady in red. Was that your new Lewinsky? It could be. Can I borrow one of your cigars? You're gross. Is that even a true story? I don't know. You're taking the over or under on Richard Gere sticking gerbils up his butthole. I'm pretty sure it wasn't over or under. It was right in. Speaking of nasty assholes, where's your sugar daddy? Spence is at a dinner, meeting with some finance guys at the Soho house. Oh, Spence is at the Soho house. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. That place is high wattage for twat waffles. Isn't your Golden Goose Rubin a member? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you reminded me, though. I gotta pick Ruben's computer up later on tonight. You're like Uber Eats minus the food. You know what, Lindsay? I got a little poem for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have five fingers, the middle one's for you. <sighs> Real classy, Mitch. Good seeing you, darling. You too, babe. Yeah, enjoy Beverly Hills. Try not to screw any old people on your way out. Later, toodles. Did you get it? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. I knew you would. <laughs> Do you tell them about me? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And they loved me? Loved you. Oh, great. Okay, I have something for you. Okay. Okay. It's a song about you. Molly works in PR. Making low lives look like stars. Making shit shine in Hollywood. Everyone said she couldn't, but I said she could. Oh, Molly, <laughs> make oh. me famous. Hey, what's up, my man? How can I help you today? I'm here to pick up a computer for Ruben Winders. Oh. And, um, what is your connection to Mr. Winders? I'm his publicist. Is there a problem? No, no problem at all. More like a, like an opportunity. Guys, I'm not looking for any extra services. I just need the computer back and in working form. Yeah. See, we came across some very, very interesting things during the routine checkup. Are you talking about the porn? The viruses? I mean, I knew the thing was riddled with, I mean, the guy looks at porn nonstop, all right? That's, were you able to remove the viruses? Yeah, we're not talking about viruses and such. We're talking about photos. What kind of photos? Dirty ones. Who gives a flying shit about dirty photos? You know how many pictures I have of my twig and berries? A lot, all right? I'm sure you guys have sent each other little Snapchats of each other's scrotums. Yeah, we're not talking about your traditional dick pics, asshole. We're talking about freaky, TMZ, career-ending photos. Wait, what are you saying? We're saying we'd like to talk to you about appearing on the show Miffed Monarchs. Oh, fuck me. Park the car in Harvard Yard. Park the car in Harvard Yard. Park the car, park the car, park the, park the car. Last night I had a dream, I drank beers with Britney Spears at Cheers. She told me her fears as I wiped her tears. She said people don't appreciate the way she sings. Criticism stings and brings stress. All the emphasis is on her chest. Can't they give her boobs a rest? She said the real Mitch, squeeze them, see for yourself. So I did. <laughs> Damn, those things are authentic, kid. Two minutes later, I did it once more, my friend. What are you doing, said Britney. I said, sorry. Oops, I did it again. Then I grabbed a copy of Rolling Stone and looked inside. Those luscious lips, firm hips, pretty eyes. I almost died. 
Brit shook her head and gave her face a rub. What am I doing in this Boston pub? You're looking at a girl that used to be in the Mickey Mouse Club. I said, don't worry, baby, you're in Beantown, home of the socks and the cod. I got a wicked accent and a hot bod and a big rod. She gave a nod. What if I get arrested for underage drinking? I'm supposed to be end sinking. This must be a mistake. You're not Justin Timberlake. I said, that's right, baby. I'm not no pretty boys band. Believe your ears. I hate cheesy pop music, but I love your Britney Spears. I hate cheesy pop music, but I love you, Britney Spears.